Um, we had Pop Pastor Bob Yandon today talk to us life in the world today. And I'm going to talk to uh, my very beautiful sister here. Uh, by the way, she's getting famous recently. And uh, she just released a single, uh, that I Brief. And so uh, but I'm going to ask you, Debbie, um, we are Pastor Bob today. And I thought that was a very, very good message, very exploratory. And so I want to know what actually stood out for you today. Um, today I was greatly mightily blessed you know just about um prosperity you know he preached a powerful message about the essence of prosperity and and um why it is that god wants us to be blessed it's not necessarily just you know um to put food on the table but it's so that we can give support the kingdom of god you know support our local churches be a blessing to others and i was really really inspired by the story He's, he mentioned two things that struck out to me first of all um he spoke about um elisha and the widow you know the widow that that, um, whose husband had died and they came wanting to collect her sons because she owed them a debt and he mentioned something to me he said he asked her what did she have in her house and she said she had nothing but a pot of oil but he told her to go and borrow vessels and the scripture records that she kept pouring into those vessels and as long as there was a vessel she had something to pour she had something to offer and I was really blessed because he said it the blessing stopped as soon as she, she didn't have any more vessels, mean, meaning the blessings would have continued if she had more vessels to pour into. So that really struck out to me. We have a lot to offer, but we determine the limits you know, that we place on ourselves. We determine how far we go based on the limits we place, whether mentally or you know, limits that we impose on ourselves in any way, you know, so I, I was really blessed by that. And secondly, he spoke about going to where your blessing is. Sometimes God might tell us our blessing is in the north or in the south. And we think, no, I think my blessing looks like it's here. But he spoke about prophet Elijah and he said that God sent him to go to the widow of Zarephath. She, he he felt, oh, there must be a wealthy woman there. And when he got there, he saw a woman who was at the point of death. You know, she, she looked broke, basically. But that was where his blessings were. He, God had sent the ravens to go there and wait for him. So I just learned from that that it's important to obey God. Our promised land may not always look like where we think it is, but if God says it's there, it's good to obey and go. I was blessed by that. That's very beautiful because um, I think um, in Christianity, um, too often we don't actually see that life operates on principles. And yeah. so I think one of the things actually, Bobby Anden today, he actually explo exposed uh, the principles of prosperity and yeah. pastor did actually say eventually and, mm -hmm. and how uh, people go to conferences and, and Christians don't buy books and yeah. things like that. And so uh, life functions on principles and, and, and Pastor Bobby Anden is an amazing speaker, not just a great speaker, but a great offer. And he's got amazing books. You can go to his website, uh, www.bobyanden.com. And so well, I'm gonna ask you another question, uh, Debbie, uh, Queen D. Uh, that's, your, that's your stage name? Yes, that's is. your music name. And so um, she's an amazing singer. We're very, very uh, privileged you. to have you as one of our own in this church. And so do you want to tell us, Quindy, um, how can people get access to, um, to your song? Oh, it's very easy. Um, you can look me up on YouTube, Queen D Official. Um, I have my lyric video there as well as the official music video. You can also visit me at my website, www.queendee.com.ng. Um, on Instagram, I'm Real Queen D. On Twitter, I'm Real Queen D. So you can follow me on any of those social media platforms and you'll get access to the song. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And so, so there we go. Um, Living Word International Church, and we invite you into our programs. We have uh, Bible studies every Sunday, Wednesday, 7 p.m. We've got prayer meetings at 30 every Friday, and we've got Sunday church, 10 a.m. every Sunday. I want to see you here. Yes, and if you want to listen to Queen D sing, you don't have to go to a concert. You don't have to go pay. Come here every Sunday, and, and maybe um, you just be one of our members someday, prayerfully, because in our church. And so, God bless you. God bless you.